Billionaires aren't the only ones racing to space right now. Around 72 countries have space programs, including Israel and the United Arab Emirates. Israeli privately owned Space IL is preparing to shoot for the moon for a second time with their Bereshit 2 mission. And over in the UAE, its moon mission is on the way to having the Rashid moon rover delivered to the moon's surface in 2022. The United Arab Emirates' highly successful space program also inserted a spacecraft into orbit around Mars in February this year. Now to tell us more about this project and many more coming out of the UAE, I am now joined by the chairperson of the UAE Space Agency and Minister of State for Advanced Technology, Her Excellency Sarah Al-Amiri. Your Excellency, thank you so much for taking the time to join us on the show. Thank you, Sarah, for hosting me. Now, first of all, uh, Israel and the UAE have both been investing in the space sector, and it is a sector that has been highlighted as an area of potential cooperation between the two countries. Can you elaborate on the types of cooperation or projects that we may see come of this, and how could this cooperation advance the goals for the two countries? So the area of technology in general is a very important area of the collaboration between Israel and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, and as we continue moving forward, one of the primary drivers within the sector of technology is definitely the space sector. And therefore, the driver that we are currently working on and expanding collaboration on is between the two private sectors between the two countries. This allows us to further um, elevate the role of the Middle East in the space sector overall and be able to push forward with regards to global dialogue of increasing access to space for everyone. And there's been incredible advancements in space technologies in recent years as well and reaching space is becoming faster and easier than ever. How do you envision the UAE helping to push this innovation and advancement even further? This innovation allows new entrants into the space sector to capitalize on a new area of uh, technologies that allows access to space in a lower cost manner. What that means is that we've expanded the applications of space and expanded the applications of space in so many different sectors. What we are looking to drive is increasing demand for space products and services in infrastructure development, in the area of agriculture, um, in the area of water security and food security, utilizing the technologies also that are that expand from the space sector to drive innovation forward in the area of science and technology within the country. That allows us to expand further not only our international collaborations in that area, but allows us to further create impact within our economy and create new sectors in the economy that further allows us to diversify the UAE's economy further. And Your Excellency, you wrote an op-ed for The Economist where you highlighted that in addition to humanity pursuing our aspirations in space, we also have a responsibility for our own planet. How can the UAE further encourage global environmental responsibility? The UAE is definitely on board in terms of the global drive towards climate change and ensuring that we're counteracting that across so many different portfolios. We even have an uh, envoy specifically on climate change, how we are using the space sector towards um, ensuring that we're addressing the issue of climate change, one through continuously monitoring Earth and understanding better the implications and the impacts that we're having, both in the short term and also in the long term. Uh, another aspect is further reflecting that into um, industry and industrial practices uh, that allows us to infuse technology and allows us to advance technology to counteract the impacts of climate change. On the other aspect, we also need to ensure that the area around Earth through space objects it remains um, uncluttered. And therefore, we are dedicated together with the global effort of ensuring that increased access to space also ensures sustainability of space around Earth. In 2019, the UAE sent its first astronaut into space and just recently selected a female astronaut to join the space program. Why is it important for the UAE to invest in having a human presence in space in addition to developing technology? Advancing the space sector needs to be quite robust. So the UAE not only focuses on human spaceflight and the private sector, but also focuses on space exploration. 
putting together a program that touches on every single aspect of the space sector as a whole allows you to expand technologies not only in the short term that it allows you to grow your private sector but also in the long term where exploration plays a role in driving innovation down the line and ensuring the sustainability of your space sector by targeting those multifaceted areas you're able to further expand the role of science and technology not only in your economy but also in your society why is that important as we continue advancing Sing. Um, the role of science and technology in our economy, having more and more talent entering the workforce, focusing on the STEM areas becomes ever more important. And having role models across several different programs within the country allows us to further advance that forward. We've seen that from the amplification and the results of the Emirates Mars mission after its launch, where it's normalized access to science and it's normalized science jobs and science opportunities. Your Excellency, you mentioned the UAE Mars mission. Now, uh, you actually led the HOPE probe project, which arrived at Mars earlier this year to study the planet's atmosphere. What can you share with us about the data that it has collected so far and what have you learned from it? We are coming now on a year since the launch of the Emirates Mars mission to space. Um, first off, in terms of the spacecraft itself and the approach that we took in developing the spacecraft, we were able to prove a new mechanism of accessing to, uh, accessing planetary exploration at a lower cost, which allows us to further expand access to space in general. Um, the other aspect is the science of the mission. Uh, we've started our science mission a few uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, what that has enabled us is to map Mars and Mars's atmosphere throughout an entire day across the number of days that we've been now in orbit um, around Mars. The interesting finding that we've gotten on the back of this mission very early on in our science orbit is the identification and the imaging for the very first time of the Mars discrete aurora. What that has enabled us to do is to tap into a new area of science that one of our instruments, the ultraviolet spectrometer, is able to study this phenomena that happens on the dark side of Mars and allows us to map it throughout an entire year. Now, that's an, a, new, a, a new area of science that we're adding on top of understanding climate change of Mars, on top of understanding the role and, and escape of hydrogen and oxygen. The world and scientists around the world can expect the data to be released uh, in the first week of October, and we will continue to releasing the data to scientists around the world and the scientific community around the world to benefit from it. Great. Now, uh, Dubai will be hosting the International Astronautical Congress in October. Can you tell us more about that event as well? October will be a very vibrant month for space in the Emirates, starting off with uh, with Expo and then following on with the International Astronautical Congress, uh, moving on to the Dubai Air Show, which has a large feature of the space sector um, in it, and also uh, the Space Week that is dedicated within the um, Expo uh, 2020 that is happening, that is starting on the 1st of October. This allows us to further collaboration in the area of space exploration. This allows us to further um, expose the world to the region uh, and expose the world to the capabilities of the region when it comes to space exploration, but more importantly, also expose it to uh, the development aspects that is happening within different countries within the region when it comes to science and technology and advancing the different um, areas, be it Earth observation um, um, or planetary exploration.